Welcome back to Brain Flow TV again, everybody. It is your host with the most. So the killing of a three-year-old boy at a birthday party in Florida, Miami, Florida, is sparking all kinds of outrage. It's got people out here willing to put money down on the head of the person that actually did this. And I'm not talking about putting money on their head as in finding them and bringing them to the police or telling the police where they're at. I'm talking about putting money on their head as in people are saying this person needs no jail time. This person deserves to die. I wouldn't be surprised, honestly, given the people that are putting the money in and this type of talk that this person might not make it to jail. So if this person is out there and they hear this from anywhere, you better turn yourself in and get yourself off the streets because they are gunning for you. It's on your head already. A three-year-old boy was killed when gunfire erupted at a children's birthday party in a Miami suburb, unleashing shock and outrage from community members, politicians, and celebrities. The people who are putting the money up on your head in the streets are celebrities. Investigators are still searching for the person who shot Elijah LaFrance when an altercation at a short-term rental in Golden Glades turned violent on Saturday night. That was a day and a half ago. As a father and as a member of this community, I am completely devastated. I'm disgusted. Miami-Dade Police Director Freddie Ramirez told reporters at the scene, we talk about accountability. When are we going to hold ourselves accountable for what's going on in our streets each and every day? This is ridiculous. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, People keep saying, oh, Black Lives Matter, Black Lives Matter. But let's be honest. Black Lives Matter, but does Black Lives really matter to black people? Or does Black Lives only matter when black people are killed by a white cop? You know what I'm saying? Does Black Lives really matter? I mean, we got to change. We have to change systemically. We have to change in our neighborhoods, in our communities, in our houses. We have to change. We talk about accountability. When are we going to hold ourselves accountable for what's going on in our streets each and every day? This is ridiculous. I can guarantee you that this shooting at this children's birthday party had nothing to do with the damn kids. I can guarantee you that the shooting at this children's birthday party stems from something that some adult that is around this child had to do with this. Cops were alerted to gunfire by spot shotters technology and found elijah mortally wounded at the house now spot shotters is something that i've been advocating for them to start using in places like jamaica and those kind of places like i'm from jamaica you know what i'm saying i have friends that are from haiti as well when gunshots go off in these type of places nobody knows where the gunshots are coming from and in the caribbean especially places like haiti and jamaica gunshots come from gunmen who are not afraid to shoot at police so with spot shotters what it does is when a gunshot goes off it gives the police on a computer screen the area where the gunshot went off at and they could pinpoint it right down to the location so this is an important piece of technology to use anyways that's what they were alerted by and they went over there and they found the little boy mortally wounded and he was rushed to the hospital but he died a 21 year old woman was also shot but she was in stable condition a neighbor told nbc miami that they heard about 20 to 30 gunshots it's unclear what led to this type of shooting this sounds like somebody had the extended clip on it and just let it rip at a children's birthday party man among those speaking out as police circulated Elijah's photo and asked for help finding the suspect was Miami rapper Zoe Dollars. Now, Zoe Dollars himself was shot last year as he was leaving a party. You know what I'm saying? He said, I real life cried last night about this little boy. This got me with my with a ball in my throat, man. I'm on easy, man. I can't even have a good day. But in a subsequent tweet, he then called for anyone with information about the shooter to give the name to the boy's family instead of the police. He need to die, not go to jail, is what the rapper wrote. 
Elijah isn't the first child that's been caught up in this crossfire thing in Miami at a party in Dade County. You know Dade County is infamous for gunplay. And if those of y'all who don't know, and you go to them parts of America and play around, you might not make it out. I was born in Jamaica, but I was raised in Dade County, and I could tell you about Dade County. In January 6th, year old, in January, a six-year-old, Chaucity Sanders, was killed at one of these parties. And last year, a seven-year-old, Elena Washington, was killed in a drive-by shooting at one of these events. After two-decade decline in homicide, that's 20 years, the county saw an increase just last year, with one in four victims being ages 21 or under. The number of people who survived shootings in 2020 was also up by 16%. Now, Miami-Dade Mayor Daniel Levine Cava says that it has to stop. There are no words to describe the immense loss and anger that our community is feeling. We will do everything we can to bring these murderers to justice and we must stand together to demand an end to this cycle of tragedy. Anyone with information about Elijah's death is asked to contact Miami-Dade Crime Stoppers at 305-471-8477. Let me put it to you like this. This is real talk, okay? When I say that we don't give a damn about ourselves until somebody white kills us. We steady killing ourselves. We're not even only killing ourselves. We're killing our children. We're killing our babies. And then we got our own babies killing each other. Because a 15, 16 year old running around with a chopper is a baby. And he about to go kill another 15, 16 year old. That's a baby. That's a little boy. That's a little girl. I have children that's, that's older than that. So what are we doing to ourselves? We can't wait for the white man to save us and our community. We got to start saving ourselves. So sometimes when I look and I see this whole black lives matter, black lives matter. And then I look and I see what's going on in our neighborhoods, how we treat each other with such hostility. Man, it tells me that we only say black lives matter for the cameras or we only say black lives matter when it's one of those controversial cases situation this shit starts with something that tupac shakur talked about and a lot of the generations that are getting in trouble and dying right now a lot of them weren't even born when tupac passed away and tupac just passed away so they're pretty young but it is us that tupac said nobody could erase us off this planet Nobody could make us leave this. We have to erase ourselves off this. That's how great we are. We have to erase ourselves off this. We have to walk off this planet. They can't make us walk off this planet. You know what I'm saying? And we are that powerful as a people. But guess what? It seems like we are a part of the agenda to destroy ourselves. Whether it's that we have been programmed as a people or whether it's that we've given over to lust, greed, jealousy, envy, hate for our own kind. And I see more of that today than ever before. The black community is in trouble and we've been in trouble for a long time. Yeah, there's a lot of us going off to college, getting good jobs, moving into good career fields, moving up out the hood into a better life. But damn, if there ain't a lot of us that are on our way to prison or an early grave. Come on now, fix up. And I don't want to hear no more Black Lives Matter if it don't matter to you. And when I say if it don't matter to you, I mean if you're not out here respecting your own kind, thinking of your own kind as precious, and if you're willing to take the life of another or jeopardize the life of our black children, then you need to shut the fuck up and sit back way in the back of the class. Let me finish this video by saying this. We can't keep blaming others. It's not them that's killing us. It is us that's killing us. In the words, quote unquote, of the great, great Tupac Shakur, it's not them 
that's killing us. It's us that's killing us. Leave a comment in the comment section below, and I'll catch you on the next video. It's SoFlow TV over here on BrainFlow TV. Hit that subscribe button. I'm out. Peace.